everybody, it's Bunny, and it's everybody's favorite day of the week. The day of the week when we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? Today, we have another sibling to the exciting Lazy Lipstick. Do you guys remember this product? I think we actually tested it out like two years ago. It looks like this. I've done a couple videos on these, honestly. I've tested it out, and then I actually got like a DIY Lazy Lipstick mold. We've made our own Lazy Lipstick. Lipstick. So I feel like we've gone to Mount Olympus and back with lazy lipstick stuff. You know, you stick the whole thing in your mouth. That's how you apply it. That's why it's called lazy. I feel like this product is obviously more about the novelty of it versus the formula. Let's do it one more time. Hmm. Ooh. I feel like this new one is maybe a little bit more pigmented. Oh my gosh. Then you just, ew like that. So I'm not sure why this is called lazy because I kind of feel like it takes more to clean it up when you're done. So ever since I tested out this product though, I've been looking for other lazy makeup products. Like is this a whole genre? And as I was searching, I saw this product come up time and time again. This is also called Lazy Lipstick, but it has a couple of different names, which is, I think, Slip Mud, Lip Mud, and then on the box it says Lips Wud, just for an extra little bit of comedy. I did my makeup like very neutral today because I kind of never know what shade these items are gonna be. Like this, looks pretty red, right? But is it is it actually gonna be like that? Because to be honest, I have already taken a look at this product and look at that. That's what it looks like. It's kind of like a brick shade, I guess. I don't know, like, am I just having a moment? Do you guys think that that is the shade of lipstick that you would get from this container? Oh, look at that. That. See, there is an actual label on the box. They're always called like AO5. Like it's never called like Coral Red or something like that that would more allude to like what shade the lipstick is gonna be. I would have to say though that the label is pretty spot on for the color of the product. It does have this really interesting clear silicone applicator. It's very flexible. Is it gonna make applying this product any simpler? This is what the product looks like. It does kind of have like a mud texture. It seems like it's gonna be pretty creamy. Right off the top, like just looking at it, the formula kind of reminds me of the NYX. Were they called creamy mousse or mousse lips? Do you guys remember those? They came in like lip gloss packaging, um, but I always really loved that product. But you would apply it and the product was very creamy and mousse-like, but then after a while it would mat down. So let me just scoop some of this product out here. Oh, ooh la la. It smells almost like it's trying to do a MAC lipstick kind of thing. Like a little bit vanilla frosting like. Look at this sticker on my mirror. My lips are dry like always. You guys, I'm gonna get back on drinking more water. Every day I vow this. Every day I drink coffee instead. I forgot to say sippy sippy that time. Am I close enough to you? Can you see what's going on? I feel like I'm gonna have to get better like footage, like B-roll of this because it is kind of an adventure. Um, this is like very, I don't know. Too much product I put on the applicator. Oh my God, look at that. <gasps> It looks great. I went to go get one of these little temporary lipstick applicators. So let's see if we can blend this out. Ah. I'm actually kind of pleasantly surprised by this product. I'm not really sure that it's something I would wear day in and day out, just because I have had it on now for about five minutes. I was like taking some more thumbnails and so far it's not ever matting down, which I usually just 
am not drawn to products like that unless I'm just like putting it on for photos or something um just because I find like the more that I talk and like gesture in the strange ways that I do it's liable to get on my teeth versus if I use a completely matte product usually like once it mats down it doesn't budge but the downside is if you're like me and you use lots of matte lip products every single day and you're not hydrated enough your lips will start to also get crusty as well. I do really like the shade though. I feel like it is a really interesting color. It almost has like a little bit of an orangey tone. Do you guys see that? Look, it's like orange like this chicken wing. It matches. I find the applicator all right. It's not super precise, but sometimes I do feel spoiled by these little single applicators because a lot of times I like to do the blurred lip effect where I take this and like really just blur the edges of whatever lip product that I'm wearing just because I kind of like like that almost smeary messy kind of look so I think I'm just like spoiled by these because they are like pretty fluffy and it's just easier, in my opinion, to blend the edges of this. So yeah, um, overall, it's not bad. I like literally don't know what this brand is. I'm also not sure if this is a dupe for another product, like a real product, like maybe a K-Beauty product or something. So if y'all have ever heard of Lip Mud, Lip Slip, Lazy Lip, mud lipstick from another brand let me know in the comments down below i would probably purchase another one of these honestly just to see what a different shade might be i think that there was like four or five different shades available and i'm pretty sure i selected this one because you guys know like my signature lipstick is always red so i usually go for like whatever looks like it's gonna be like the most bright red shade available but with a product called Lip Mud, I was thinking like the mud had to come into play somewhere, but maybe it's just the texture of the product and not the shade. It still has not matted down. It's been almost another four minutes. So yeah, you guys, that's about all she wrote. I'm trying to remember how much it was on Timu. I think around like $4. And I think it was like actually more expensive, like $8.99 on Amazon. And I really bet it's the same product because uh, sometimes you'll see different brands on the packaging, like Vibe, Vibely. I've never heard of that before. And I would love to know all of you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Would you try this? Would you buy this? Do you like this? Do you understand why it's called Lazy Mud? because I sure don't. Um, but you guys, it's time for me to peel off my faux tattoos now. I literally put these sleeves on today because I was like, mm, you can see my bra straps. What's a solution for that? Fake sheer tattoo sleeves. That doesn't make any sense. These don't cover anything. Anyway, you guys, thank y'all so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp family, and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye! Well, yeah, I guess the last thing for us to test, you guys, is removal. This is just a damp, it's supposed to be heart-shaped, damp heart-shaped makeup eraser. But let's see, will it come off with just water? I guess it's like not that much different than my natural lip shade. Or am I just having a moment? I guess that is kind of different. I look like Kim Possible right now. Just like my top lip done. <laughs> I always make a joke about this too, like my lips are tangling, but they are kind of tingling, but <laughs> I feel like it's because I've been filming a lot of this kind of stuff today. I feel like this could also be like a makeup eraser video. <laughs> so I think my lips have just had enough. <laughs>